Now, work begins today to raise a Second World War German bomber from the bottom of the English Channel more than 70 years after it was shot down during the Battle of Britain. The Dornier 17 is thought to be the last of its kind in the world. As Nick Hyam now reports, there are major plans to try to preserve this piece of history. The summer of 1940 and the Battle of Britain rages over southern England. In daily dogfights and bombing raids, the German Air Force seeks to destroy the RAF in the run-up to a planned invasion. The Dornier 17, known as the flying pencil for its long, thin shape, was a deadly mainstay of the bomber fleets attacking British cities and airfields. Gerhard Krems was a highly decorated wartime pilot who flew 250 bombing missions for the Luftwaffe. He's the last man alive to have flown a Dornier. It was agile, it was very slender, and it was elegant, really elegant. But you only realized quite how elegant when you saw it in the sky. But more than 70 years on, not a single Dornier was thought to survive. Then two years ago, a survey for the RAF Museum revealed the wreck of a plane lying on its back on the Goodwin Sands. Divers confirmed it was a Dornier 17 and almost intact. Historically, it is fantastic. This aircraft is going to be the only one of its type in existence in the world. The plane, it's thought, was shot down on the 26th of August 1940. Damaged by RAF fighters, it flew out over the channel, rapidly losing power and height. The pilot tried to ditch, but when his wingtip touched the surface, the plane spun, turning onto its back. In due course, it sank to the bottom. When we lift it, we want it to be nose down, so that well, we're, we're going to suck it. To raise the plane, the salvage company SeaTech has designed a special frame or cradle in which to lift the aircraft. It'll take up to four weeks to build it underwater. The plane is made of aluminium, which corrodes badly in seawater. One expert warns not to expect too much. In 20, 30 years, you will find nothing from that Dornier, for example. So try it. But you shouldn't be uh, highly optimistic. Do it, but don't start dreaming too early. But at Imperial College London, they're more optimistic. Working on a small fragment of the plane, scientists here believe they've come up with a way to preserve it for the long term. We have a plan for cleaning it. We've been looking at um, some acid washers. Um, historically, museums have used um, things like citric and phosphoric acid, and we've been looking at similar combinations. And actually, what one that we found that works very well is just a citric acid. And that's lemon juice. It's lemon juice, that's right. Today, it's a wreck on the floor of the English Channel. In two years' time, if all goes well, preserved with lemon juice, it'll be on display. Nick Hyam, BBC News.